Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Andy with Acme Packs, and I welcome each and every one of you back for a new video. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the new 2023 Panini Prism Hobby Mega Boxes. These are different than the Walmart and the Target Mega Boxes, so let's rip them open, see what's inside. Let's get into it. So this is the new format of the Panini Prism Mega Boxes. So if you guys have been around the last few years, you would know that Fanatics always used to have their own exclusive line of Mega Boxes and Blaster Boxes, for instance, too. Um, today, we are going to be taking a look at what used to be the Fanatics Mega Box. The, so these are now called or rebranded um, Hobby Mega Boxes, Panini Prism Hobby Mega Boxes. And I can only assume that's because Panini and Fanatics hate each other. <laughs> um, but these were distributed not to any um, retail shop like Target or Walmart. You're only going to be able to find these at your car local card stores, um, online, through distributors, things like that. Um, I think I bought these from Steel City. So that, that's an online distributor. That's the only way you're going to be able to find these. And these are running about $100 to $110 a box, which is kind of crazy for what should be a retail product but it's it's the same thing as the um the target mega boxes and the walmart mega boxes just different parallels and there is actually one thing in here that um was labeled as being in the walmart exclusive mega box but it's actually not they are in these so Again, $100 to $110 for these, just like normal Mega Boxes. I can only assume that means it will carry, these purple pulsers will carry a little bit more weight into um, the secondary market. So just like any Mega Box, 42 cards per pack. I believe it's six card or six packs per box, seven cards per pack, five exclusive purple pulser prisms, one memorabilia card, which is going to be purple pulser, and then three silver prisms. So the exact same format as all of the other um mega boxes then you do have the purple pulsers the um base prisms the silvers the press proofs and the black and red checkerboard and then what you also have in here are the autographs prism purple pulser if you guys um saw any of the walmart rips or my own um the back of those actually had the autographs and prism purple pulser but no one had pulled any out of there so those are not in the walmart um, boxes that is actually mislabeled and misrepresented. Those are actually in these boxes. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Show you guys what you can expect if you are looking to pick up some of these yourself. Again, they, these are rebranded from the Fanatics exclusive to the Hobby Mega Boxes. So nothing guaranteed outside of a normal Mega Box um, in this, except it's just different parallels. And since they're being chart, they're being... Um, charge for a little bit more like they're um they're a little bit higher in price i can only assume the secondary market will respond in kind as well so if you guys enjoy these um retail slash hobby reviews be sure to let me know down in the comments remember to like and subscribe really helps me out keeps the channel going so very um it's going to be the exact same as all the other ones that's going to be your purple pulser there it's actually a very popular um parallel in the hobby got a alan kamara gonna have marvin mims on the purple actually not terrible there so of course always looking for cj stroud um deontay banks jonathan taylor there always looking for cj stroud can't stress that enough um but you can get the autos in here what is going on here i think i uh pulled out the wrong sleeves there we go that's better so beautiful looking card I'm hoping that we hit an auto. I would love to see a um, a pulser auto in here. That would be that would make me pretty happy. All right, we have our mem in here now. Let's see what we got, and we have a silver. We got Joey Bosa, George Kittle. We're gonna have Zach Wilson. Most likely will not be with the Jets next year. Uh, Dontavian Wicks, one of my guys, and JSN. Very solid. And JSN on the purple pulser. Cool. So, again, the MEMS aren't going to, you know, carry a whole lot of weight in the hobby right now with it all being um, not exclusive to any specific game or event, but they still look cool. And that's the rookie gear. Got another purple pulser in here. 
So, Prism, I know you guys love to hate it, but I'm always a fan of it. We got Rashad Penny there, oh man, um, on the Purple Pulsar, Tank Bigsby, and Zach Harrison. Yeah, I know, I know that a lot of people love to hate Prism. I think it's a all right product. Um, I, I do like it for the fact that you can get um, CJ Stroud, or that the base CJ Strouds and that this is the most coveted um, rookie set out there. However, I think that it is, you know, it's solid. It's, it is Prism. You're just looking for those parallels and sucks. Oh, please be Quentin Johnson, I guess. Darius Davis. <laughs> um, Darius Davis on the rookie there and a prismatic Jameer Gibbs. I enjoy Prism for what it is right now. Um, unfortunately, I would like to see some numbered cards in here. But these are still going to be some of the most sought-after retail parallels and um, rookie car most sought-after rookie cards for this class, or any class, for that matter. Prism is king, and will continue to be king for a while. Okay. Going to have Mike Alstott there. And Raiders. That's Austin Hooper. DTR and Abanaconda. And last pack. Should see one more silver. Normally you get one rookie silver per box. And then two of the purple pulsers are normally rookies. And our silver is a Bengal. Oh no. Trey Hendrickson. Okay, so we did not get a um, rookie in the silver. And then Logan Wilson is going to be our purple pulser. Luke Van Ness and Kalijah Cansey. So at $100 a box, this is a very tough product. This is a very tough product at $100 a box. Um, I really wish that they were closer to that $60 a box, but I don't know. It Fanatics would have sold them for $60 if they were given to them, but since they were all given to hobby shops, the price gouging seems strong with this product. So, all right, no auto in that box. Let's see what we got coming up. Okay, we got Aaron Jones, John Riggins. We're going to have Jalen Hurts and Chargers. Tooley. <laughs> Man, it is so hard to hit a Quinton Johnson, even though he had a rough season. That's kind of still the guy you want from the Chargers. Okay. Got our mem here. And our silver. Or one of our silvers. Okay. Got Ben Skowernick. Malik Willis. Gonna have Noah Font on the silver. AP. It's gonna be Alec Pierce. <laughs> Why? Did I grab the wrong box? Hmm. <laughs> and Puka there. That's good. But, 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 why was that a green pulser? Those are supposed to be purple pulsers. So we got a Walmart exclusive green pulser there. That, that is fantastic. Fantastic. Love it. Oh, and how gracious of them to give us points instead of an auto. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to be sarcastic, guys. I am trying not to be sarcastic, but oh my god. Brian Breesy there. The Debo, Debo's cool, though, um, on the purple pulser. That's cool. Okay, so out of that pack or out of the last two packs, we just got a, what would have been auto, an auto, but they gave us 150 points, and they gave us a neon green pulser. So I'm not too happy right now with uh, this box. Dolphins, it's gonna be Bradley Chubb, and Panther, please be Bryce Young. <laughs> oh God, the troll, the troll job. I don't... <laughs> oh my gosh. Disaster. Absolute disaster. Okay. Let's get through it. Got a few more packs. 
We've got Kenneth Walker. We're going to have Aaron Donald there on the Purple Pulsar. Joey Porter and Evan Hull. And last pack. Got one more silver and one more purple pulsar. Our silver is going to be Khalif Raymond. So not a single rookie silver, unfortunately. And that's going to be Jamar Chase. That's pretty cool. And Clayton Toon and Aiden O'Connell are going to be our uh, last rookies. So we got... We got panini hard in this one. Um, we got panini hard in this one. Um, yeah, so not only did we get the green pulser where we would have gotten an autograph, they gave us points. Um, yeah, that second box was a panini masterclass. So that is going to do it for this one. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.